almost every religion, there are places that hold a special spiritual meaning. For Muslims, that place is Mecca, the birthplace of Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Mecca plays such an important role in Islam that if possible, each Muslim is expected to make at least one pilgrimage to the holy city. As CNN reports, you'll see how millions of Muslims embark on this journey and how Mecca prepares for their arrival. There's nothing like it elsewhere, a huge city of tents at Mina, nestling among imposing granite hills a few kilometers outside Mecca. Essentially, this is where the Hajj begins for many pilgrims. Preparations are underway to receive more than two million people over the next day or so as they camp close to their most important destination, Mount Arafat. In the lead up to that most significant day of the Hajj, those who've been spending time praying and performing rituals in Mecca start heading by foot and by car to the tent city. The volume of visitors is overwhelming. There is a challenge here. The challenge for us, how to serve all these more than two million people in a very uh, limited uh, area where uh, you have to give to them all the services within these three to four days and you are actually uh, not having all the facilities which you could offer these services. It is a challenge, actually. And this challenge of dealing with a difficult terrain and hot desert conditions has forced the Saudi government to look at not only existing technology, but to come up with new, totally original ways of providing safety and comfort for the millions of pilgrims. The tent fires in 1997 here in Mina, for example, which took a couple of hundred lives, have led to the creation of a rather sophisticated fire protection system. We have in the tent uh, at least three fire systems. Uh, one is uh, the fabric itself, it doesn't burn, and uh, it melts above 500 uh, grads. And uh, we have a sprinkler system. And then we have on the streets uh, fire uh, hydrants that every 90 uh, meter on the road or on the streets you have the fire hydrants for uh, any uh, accident that may happen. This should help to reassure those who still remember that terrible blaze of 1997. The MENA development project is far from complete. Over the next few years, the area's water supply will double, all tents will be upgraded, including those actually in Arafat, and the flow of traffic will be regulated even more to ease congestion. Pilgrims in coming years will find that the road to Arafat is not such a rocky one after all. Riz Khan, CNN, in Mina, near Mecca. The pilgrimage to Mecca is just one of the five pillars of Islam. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, also requires that Muslims turn toward the city during their five daily prayers. By turning toward Mecca, Muslims can remain connected to the roots of their faith no matter where they live in the world. 